those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello. <laughs> Little Mildred having a moan. Good evening everybody and welcome to the first night of a brand new meals vlog. Uh, we're having Brinner. Yeah, been waiting for this for ages. Um, is that called naked bacon or everything but the oink or something? It's, it's the other one from Tesco. Have a quick look, it? it's in fridge because I've only used six slices of it. Them are the bird's eye green cuisine sausages, Sainsbury's own baked beans, tofu, tofu. Uh, with yellow pepper made into scrambled tofu and uh, Sainsbury's own brand potato waffle. Yeah. It's, yeah, naked without the oink. That's what it's called. And we're having a couple of toast each. I was just saying to Jess, and then you know, we are far more likely to have this as a dinner than we, for breakfast, this would be way too much for us both. Uh, we'd end up skipping lunch and and everything but now and again for a dinner we think it's an absolutely delicious meal to have and so we're having it tonight now not in your morning anybody there's a potato element right there it might not be an ash brown it's potato waffle but it's still a potato now back off Beryl <laughs> it'll still be morning because the mushroom freaks will <laughs> no no offence, <laughs> no offence, men. Uh, the mushroom freaks um, will will complain that there's no mushrooms. I know, and I would love mushrooms on there, but Jason is averse to them, much like he is cucumber, because he's stupid. It's averse to It's me. stupid! I'm going to shove this in us faces. <laughs> We're going to shove this in us faces now. Breakfast for dinner, casually known as Brinner. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. Uh, we're, we're just about to eat as Jason's editing a What We Eat In A Day vlog. Sorry about my finger, then. Um, for that we did a couple of... Was it Sunday we did that? You know what? I can't remember. I think it was Sunday. Um, anyway, today, one of our lovely friends sent us some goodies from the Polish shop a good many weeks ago. This hummus is from that. Uh, those are some cauldron... Um, Middle Eastern style or Mediterranean style. I can't remember. They were yellow stickered at uh, Tesco last night. So I got them. All I've done with the couscous. I've done something different with it actually, Jason. I've washed it first. Oh, okay. Rinsed it first. Then cooked it with the desired amount of water. Why? Some lemon zest. Just see if I can get rid of the starch. Okay. Some lemon zest, some lemon juice and some garlic. Fresh garlic. And this salad, guys, it's epic. We've got spinach, mixed leaves, tomatoes, uh, red onion, walnuts, crispy fake and bits, that naked without the oink, uh, and the last bits of the Greek cheese we had last week on pizzas crumbled into it. Lovely. And of course, some pita bread. So we would call this our Greek style platter, even though it's really a kind of Mediterranean style platter. Um, have a taste of the couscous, Jay, because it's literally uh, 78 grams of dried couscous wa washed. That's Did you not... say the couscous? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, uh. Mm. Um, and then just a juice of half a lemon, some lemon zest, and some uh, oh, that's lovely. crushed garlic. It is, isn't it? Mm. Tomato hummus. Pomodoro. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. Very light and refreshing. I can taste the lemon. I can taste the tomato, it's all equally balanced. But there's no tomato in it. I thought you said a tomato. No garlic. Usually I put tomato in it, that's why it's so pale. That's what I'm saying, it's just lemon and garlic. Well, my excuse is that I'd had the couscous. Ma 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 ma. <laughs> and a bit of everything but the bagel seasoning yes. in there as well. Uh, so there you go, our Mediterranean star platter. It would be rude of me not to end on a lovely close up shot of this salad. Oh. Oh, and the dressing is that um, Tesco agave and mustard because I thought it's the alternative. Lovely. Balloves! It's Jason's lunchtime taste tests. Hello. Today we have, and I'm rather excited about this, a wicked 
hot burrito from Tesco's. Uh, as you can see, clearly, should have been £2.70. Got a yellow sticker for £2.30. I should have said Paul picked it up last night. Uh, thank you so much, Hubster. Um, uh, it needs to be eaten today. It's, of course, vegan. Um, the traffic light on the front uh, is pretty good. Uh, it's got a massive list of ingredients on the back, but essentially, uh, tortilla loaded with beans, pulled oyster mushrooms. Now, those of you who know me uh, will hear the hesitation in my voice when I say pulled oyster mushrooms, but I'm gonna give it a try anyway. Vegan style, great spiced rice, avocado and crunchy slaw. So this basically just needs to go in the microwave uh, and then I think I can just pretty much eat it as it is. So uh, just before I do that, I'm just gonna flip it over. You can see there's really quite the list of ingredients on the back there. Uh, and for anybody that's interested, there's a nutritional breakdown. Uh, quite impressed that there is 15.3 grams of protein uh, in this uh, specific lunch meal that I'm going to have today. So there you go. I'm going to whack it in the microwave and give you my honest opinion as I always do. It's cooked long grain chili rice, red kidney beans, black turtle beans and cooked mushrooms dressed in a smoky roast red pepper and chili sauce with a vegetable slaw, avocado and coconut oil alternative to cheese in a tortilla wrap. So there you go. Um, I'm going to show you it. I've got it on a plate and I've got a fork because I've, there's a possibility this could get a little bit messy. So I'll just show you it now uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll dive in. Hmm. Okay. It smells great. Um, I am just going to dive straight in uh, is what I'm going to do and hope that it's not too hot. I have given it the allotted time. It's not actually quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really sloppy and a bit messy, but... Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. I'll tell you what, it's substantial. It's what I'd refer to as quite hefty. It is still very hot, so I'm being careful. I mean, really what I should do. Is this, it would make it a little bit easier, I think. But hopefully, we can see it's packed. I'm quite impressed, it's tasty. That's fantastic. For a lunch in four minutes, I mean, I've probably said it before, been really impressed with the Wicked range, everything I've had from it so far. This is a solid nine out of 10. 10 out of 10 if you can get it yellow stickered. Highly recommend. Um, what more can I say? Um, I shall get off, finish this off, crack on with the rest of my day, uh, and until next time, uh, do take care of yourselves, uh, and I'll see you very soon. Hello, my loves. It's Thursday evening, so first of all, a great big yay! Because <laughs> our, our Jason's finished work now for the weekend. <laughs> oh, that looks very contrived, Jason. Are you okay, love? Tired. Yeah, I know, you came home tired today, didn't you? Well, hopefully we'll have an enjoyable weekend. And um, I checked, you know, I made that walnut... Uh, that rocket and walnut pesto well it was still okay and i hadn't made a pasta dish for jason to take to work so it's gone in another load of mash much like last week used up the potatoes and the pesto with a nice tvgp mix which is basically a tin of frozen peas from sainsbury's the hubbard brand a tin of frozen peas a tin sorry of mushy peas from sainsbury's thank you darling <laughs> um 
the Hubbard brand, which are like 20p, handful of frozen peas and some mint sauce, and three Linda McCartney original sausages, topped with two of our very own homegrown, allotment-grown fried onions. Bit of bread. Lovely light. <laughs> and uh, that is our Thursday night dinner. Ready for it, mister? Mm. Let's go. Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's Friday evening. We're going live in 55 minutes. It's five past eight, so it's a bit of a late dinner. And it's a throw together, really, and it's based on something I used to do with these chorizo-style pieces that we used to get from Holland and Barrett. And I'd get some chicken-style pieces as well, and I'd do a kind of smoked paprika stew with them. Um, so I had some chickpeas left from the batch I cooked uh almost two weeks ago that's how long they keep in the fridge when you've cooked them fresh particularly helps with those with those glass tupperware yes. dishes they're amazing um so i had a batch of the chickpeas left now take into consideration i cooked 500 grams originally it did a spanish chickpea stew which did two dinners two lunches for me and jason i did a curry which did Two, four dinners, two dinners each for me and Jason. And now I've just done this, which has done two dinners and a lunch portion for Jason next week. Um, so I fried off a yellow pepper, one of our onions from the allotment. Um, added the chickpeas. Did four of the Linda McCartney chorizo and red pepper style sausages in the air fryer. And in the Nutribullet, I did two tomatoes, a big square of tomato puree, smoked paprika and water. Cut the sausages up into the pan, poured on the liquid, and there we go. We've got this uh, stew. We've got this everything but the bagel seasoning from our pals in America, which we've been using on everything, because uh, we've still got one from Ashley we haven't even tried yet. And we're going to put this on our rice. This is plain basmati rice from Sainsbury's and I just put some sweet corn in it while it was cooking. Uh, would you mind having a taste of the stew, Jason? I, I don't mind at all having a taste of the stew. I'm going to get a bit of sausage and a bit of chickpea and a bit of onion and a bit of pepper and a bit of everything. For the perfect mouthful. <laughs> or, mm. as, or as Barbara Streisand says, if the mirror has two faces, the perfect bite. Nice. Nice. Small, smoky. Yeah, it's got a little bit of smokiness to it. I love smoked paprika for that. Um, for me, I think a little crack of black pepper over the top. Yeah, get you me. You know me and me black pepper. And me, get me some and all. Well, yeah. what I tend to do now is I, I don't over-season while cooking. I personally would rather season at the table. I did put a little bit of salt in both. Uh, but I would rather season at the table because otherwise I end up doing both to some tune. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so there you go, basmati rice with sweet corn and some kind of franken stew that I've made. Delightful. But apparently he says delightful. So there you go, and uh, we will see you live soon. Of course, I'm speaking to the past, speaking to the past, speaking to the future. Balovs. Hello my darling, hello my darling, it's Saturday night and here's me tea. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me Paul and this is my Saturday night dinner. It's our, uh, it's our usual uh, Chinese style platter that we have about every two weeks. If you've ever seen any of our Wing Yip shopping vlogs you will know the products that go into making it. But quick rundown, uh, vegan plain drumstick and spring onion chopped into the uh, brown rice there. Um, satay style sticks and uh, a vegan prawn jessens looks much better, which is basically filled with crispy vegetables. And that and them are both covered in our, our own. We just mix uh, crunch peanut butter and hot chili sauce. Vegetable dumplings, breaded drumstick, and some edamame and green beans and the last of my uh, kimchi um, unfortunately the napa cabbages that I grew down at the allotment had 
not nice things inside them. I was very annoyed about it. Oh, dipping sauce, white rice vinegar, dark and light soy sauce, fresh chilies and spring onions chopped into that for dipping our dumplings in and for feeding the rice. Now, Jason, because mm -hmm. we haven't shown it in a while, let's show the feeding of the rice. Not the shitting of the rice. No, the feeding of the rice. But I do partially do this before I start it. I kind of flatten mine down. <clears throat> quite a chunk. I sort of do that. Yes, yes. And then, you see, this sauce which is quite chunky with the fresh chopped chilies and the fresh um, chopped uh, spring onions. We feed our rice because there's always too much of this sauce, even for your dumplings, so it's good to use up a lot of the liquid in your rice and it done, it's beautiful, honestly. And then we, uh, we mix it all around and it all goes a kind of uniform colour and you know that the sauce is, um, you know, mixed through well. I just kind of do that and then I do it as I'm going along really and add a bit more as you need it, really. Nice one. That's it. And they are, we're having a paratha each. Uh, I know that they're classically Indian but they go very well with this meal. It's a meal made from many continents, all of which we're grateful for. Should I show people how I start every meal like this? Yes. Would you like to? Without fail. I, I just think, you know, maybe one or two might be interested. Um, you take a dumpling, mm -hmm. it's quite hot. Mm -hmm. You just bite the end off, like that. Mm -hmm. And then, oh, and then you dip. It's a good job we love each other, isn't it? Because we double dip. You want to double dip with me? Like that. Yeah? Yeah. And then. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there you go. The eating of the dumpling as demonstrated by the Bromley. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Saturday night dinner. We're going to smash it on us faces now and watch an episode of Friends. Season 7, episode 10, for those of you keeping up. Right, bye little... Oh, did I say they're vegetable dumplings, by the way? Lovely they are. Beautiful. Yes, so there you go. Bye, loves. It's another rare sight. It's a mushroom in the TVG household. The bloody hell's going on. It's my pizza, that's what. I love Sunday night. Um, we got a 44p... Plant Chef Marguerite's Pizza at Tesco today. So, oh, and some of those Plant Chef mini sausages as well. So I've chopped some of the sausages up on this pizza and added some um, Via Life Extra Mature. We've got a lovely pre shitted salad. And I've got loads of mushrooms on my pizza. And we're having a panini and all. Well, the panini makes up for the fact that we're only eating half a pizza. Yeah. And uh, the salad's yeah. quite special as well, isn't it? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll ship the salad. You get a close upon it while I tell everyone that these, my darlings, these here are our first red tomatoes from the allotment. Our very first. We picked a load today from the greenhouse. So this is our first salad with plot 25 tomatoes and... Plot 25 onion. Oh, you can't rumble, can you? Can you, Jay? You can't. Well, you can, but... Well, you'd be stupid to, though, wouldn't you? Hang on a sec. That's not enough salad for my man. There we go. That's a bit more like it. Mmm. Pizza Lovely. and salad. Yellow stickered and homegrown. What more could you ask for? Delicious. I'm going in my face, and is. <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's the last night of this week's meal vlog. Me and Burn Burn Burn. Hello, darlings. It's the last night of this week's meals vlog. Going to talk. And we're having um, a, a fish and chip style meal. Uh, that's the. Is it called. Are they called Finnebroke? I think so. They're yeah. not an exclusively vegan company, by the way. No, so, I know. There's some of the things. Yeah. Uh, their chicken nuggets aren't vegan, Jason. I think they're vegetarian. Uh, but these, yeah. which are the, yeah, Finnebrog naked without the... Naked without the splash. 
Sometimes you get five, sometimes you get six in a pack. We were lucky tonight and got six, so three each. Whacked in the air fryer with a pile of oven chips. And uh, this is my new, newly advanced, very special TVGP medley. Because it's, as it always was, a cheap tin of mushy peas from Sainsbury's. Some um, garden peas from the freezer and some spinach and mint sauce but then I've topped it with everything but the bagel because I'm getting really addicted to that stuff it's gorgeous I've made um, a tart sauce with mayo English mustard chopped cornishons the psycho ones and caper berries nice and we've got some bread and butter glass of wine and glass of water and uh, Tomorrow night we'll be having our first meal apart for a long time because I'm going to London, aren't I? For literally years. I'll miss you so much. <laughs> I'll miss you too, babes. Uh, <laughs> I will. <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyway, anyway, so the, the next meals vlog will start with two separate segments. One from the Brommers and one from me. Tonight, not fish and chips with mushy peas. Here right, Northern. Bullops!